code on it. I can see it as a sideboard card, but I can't possibly imagine liking it more than Sahili in the main deck, and I don't even know if I like Sahili anymore. But we do get to pick up Fry's. I think Fry's absolutely awesome. Um, because of the scape shift popularity right now, we probably need more counter spells in the sideboard, but we'll call that future problem. I said I said we were donating play points, not not trying to win. And obviously this deck is still going to be bad versus, you know, the vampires, the red deck wins, those type of decks of the world. Didn't really pick up anything to improve those matches. Didn't pick up, I mean, Fry helps a little bit versus Narset. And, <sighs> yeah, I've hired a little Teferi, but I don't know. We probably should have a third Fry on the sideboard. But yeah, let's boogie. About an hour and a half before Fandom comes on, our, our friend of the streams, Dave C, is participating today, so pretty excited to go cheer him on. Hey, what is up, friendo? How have you been? Everything's going wonderful for me. I could not complain if I tried, though I'm sure I'll find something to complain about before the stream's over. Oh, we keep, we keep, we keep. They're playing any of that scape shift stuff. Our hand is super slow. Oh, look, they are. That's wonderful for us. Officially cast all of our things now. Nope! Don't plan on playing any tournaments anytime soon. I guess in late August there's the arena qualifier. I'll, probably, I'll play it since I'm qualified, but... Right, we need to draw something good. Opponent, opponent, I said something good. I don't think uh, casting a spell, or not casting a spell till turn four is quite where we want to be here. They just placed her two of this raft, the game's going to be super over, right? I've been kind of wanting to go to some local events and just jam Neo uh, Neo form because it's fun, but uh, I couldn't find and or borrow the summoners packs, so kind of shot me on that one. Guess I'm just gonna shock him twice. We'll be using our mana non stop from here on out. And by here on out, I mean, I assume they're going to cast Escape Shift next turn and we're going to concede. But I like to think worst case scenarios.
Yeah, I understand that. I mean, I'm not in the I'm not in the same situation whatsoever. But don't dig le leaving my house if I don't have to. Oh, cool. They have it all. And those are two of the shrimp. This is escape shift. We get to pick up our cards, like I said. Why are they untapping stuff? Anything they can play for four mana, they're supposed to play, right? Hey, JJ. That's awfully nice of you. I'm getting smushed right now. I guess I have to play this and kill Teveri. Don't know why they tapped four mana and then didn't play a spell. Like legit don't know what that means. Think they were potentially trying to play it as an instant, but they ticked down to Teferi so they can't? Yeah, they tapped four mana and then they couldn't play the spell. They just made a play mistake. I was right. You basically just play a bunch of lands and cast Cape Shift. It's not a lot to think about. Is this a Giganto Crisis? Nope, it's a scape shift with four mana floating. So what is it like? Scape shift and escape shift? Whatever it is, we have no outs. Zero outerinos. I guess our out here is they mess up and don't get enough lands to trigger the fields. Like they have to get six different lands to go with the field to play. Maybe they'll just click three breeding pools and we're good to go. That's impossible since two is already in their graveyard, I'm just saying. Oh no. They they did it right. Wait. Okay. We won't waste their time or our time. Let's bring in all of our thousand count oh wait three counter spells, my bad. Uh, I guess that can work on the play. I don't really know. Oh, we don't need these lava coils, actually. We just don't need the lava coils at all, ever. I <laughs> slowly take my lava coils out one by one. Can't imagine actually winning this blink in the eye either. Oh yeah, whoops. Took the wrong card out. Yeah, now we're Gucci. Probably need at least two more counter spells. We want to consistently beat this deck. We should play. Well, the sounds better in the hand we had, so. 
Can't imagine my life total matters, so I guess I'll go ahead and shock here. I almost feel like if you're not playing Skate Shift in Standard right now that you're not trying. I think the deck's that powerful. Obviously, you can play decks that are good versus it, like Simic Nexus, Blue, uh, Green Flash, etc, etc. But, like, I don't think those decks are good versus the other decks that people just won't stop playing. Basically putting anything on the bottom that's not a counter spell. We have three of those bad boys and we need to find them quick. Oh uh, yeah, 20 turn clock. What is our opponent going to do? When we run this 20 turn clock all over you. Unfortunate. Just kind of hoping they didn't have a one or two mana raft. Or a ramp. I said raft, I meant ramp. Here's they do. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. It's probably the best deck in the format. It's just how much hate do you think people will have for it? I don't think it responds very well to hate cards now that Bridge is banned. I think it's significantly worse versus people that are over sideboarding for it. I need that land, unfortunately. What is the terrible cards version? Jones on my short list of decks I would have played. Like, I don't think I'm a favorite versus Hogat at all. However, I think I'm pretty strong versus the decks that typically beat up on Hogat. And I predicted under 10% of the meta would be that. But apparently I was wrong and there's a lot more people playing it than I expected. Awesome Marino. Thought it'd be under ten. It's looking like I'm wrong though, as the reports are coming in. I think they've uh, released all the decks or something, but I've not bothered to look. Whoa! 
how could we possibly draw now to have a chance? Exactly negate. You say that, but where else could he have tested the deck to know that it was good? You can't just play leagues anymore. Leagues are too soft. I don't know what to do. Doesn't appear that I have a good option at all. Is his good? It's got Seder Wayfinder in it. I think people would have found a list. Like, I don't think Hogat's that hard to build. I'm not saying I could do it, but then again, I don't play Magic really, so... Yeah, I guess I'll play this thing. We never found a counter spell. Then again, we only looked at 16 cards. I think we might have scribed one or two to the bottom. What's his list? You say he's on a terrible list, but I don't know what that means. I don't know what a terrible list even is. They're doing that stuff main phase. They either have a escape shift or just looking for a escape shift. I don't care if they play Hogat. Or I don't care if they play the Big Flyer. Oh. Just kept two mana up for funsies. Crab seems better than Seder Wayfinder. Seems a lot better than Seder Wayfinder. We have no out now unless they misclick something. Jason Chung's going to dominate this PT though with uh, Blue Black Mill. Extra pay, some surgical extractions. Mmm, boy. It doesn't, but it mills an infinite amount more cards. They did not mess up. They have multi or more than seven different cards. So this game is over. And on to the next round. Play first.
Where have I played today? I have no idea. Uh, come on, no thought erasure. Just play a tap plan. Yeah. You're shocking, so just play a hero. Be swell if you just played a hero. Oh, you didn't shock. Never mind. I'm wrong. They did not shock. Yay! We played a planeswalker. What you gonna do when our Chandra runs wild on you, I guess? Oh, what you gonna do? Well, it probably has to have something, right? So I'm not going to cast this into 4 mana? I really just not have anything? Awesome. I guess I'll kill this then. They didn't kill it. They just, they literally have nothing. What in the world? I'm confused. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> okay. Alright, opponent doesn't like two or three mana planeswalkers, I guess. So let's sideboard in more of those. Oh. Okay. Opponent's had enough of this deck. What the hell? Well, that was certainly unexpected. We'll take it, though. Hey, it's Ginger again. I think I played Ginger like four days in a row. I'm 2-1 up on him at the moment. This hand is stone unplayable versus his Asper, but I don't think I can go to five cards versus a discard deck. Can't really keep that because of what they're playing.
Ginger's always on. But never streams because he's a rude boy. I kind of just want to play the Chandra, but that can't be right. Maybe she just saved a shock. Or the lava coil for like his X4s and X3s. Like that type of card. I feel like this game's already over. I don't have a better play than Kefnet versus a deck that's got D Sparks, potentially Contempts, Big Teferis, Little Teferis. I saved it because I thought the shock would be able to clean something up after a, um, after a, a Planeswalker Ultima, but. What if I should just cast this minus an attack? Chandra does, but we can't protect Chandra. Chandra just dies in a couple of hits. I, I meant to click opt. That was a literal misclick because of visions. Or vision. I was trying to click opt. I thought I clicked opt. I didn't realize I clicked shock. Being blind sucks ass.
They didn't do a very good job lately, I think. I think New Horizons and War were both terrible sets. Putting static abilities on Planeswalkers was horrendous as well. I don't really have any complaints about M20 with the exception of the field card. The field card making skate shift too good, but we only have to worry about skate shift for a couple of months. So it's not that big of a concern to me. I'm 100% dead though. I don't think if I'd actually clicked the right thing, opt over shock, that it would have made much of a difference. Um, Ixalan, Dominaria, all of that stuff. I don't want to take these out. I'll leave one in. I have too many answers for that as well. Well, yeah, this hand's better. This hand's considerably better. I hadn't even noticed a buyout, to be completely honest. Well, if they have filed erasure, we get to resolve one good spell regardless. If we get spell pierced, we cry. Oh, Bitter Blossom got bought out. My friend just showed me that a collection he picked up has four masterpiece Bitter Blossoms, so that's kind of cool. Or box toppers, or whatever the hell they're called. And he probably bought before the spike. Hmm. I don't want that. Planeswalkers do your thing. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and counter that. No, it, it can't, I don't think. The question is, how badly do I want to kill this? Wait, why can't I cast my spell? What did I mess up? What the hell? What the hell? Did my mouse click, or did, did my keyboard stick and I click through it? That's a tilt. I think I cost us this game, and I believe this game was won. Really annoyed about this whole scenario. Uh, let's start with this. That was a thunderous playing of that. Uh, that was a good draw.
Don't counterspell Reno, please? Yes. Oh no! Hi, Ral. Come back, Ral. Ah, planeswalkers do things. That's good to know. Um, let me get rid of you on the draw. Probably one of you. Still a little salty about having bad vision and clicking a shock instead of an opt. A little salty about uh, taking down Chandra for no value too, and I'm not even sure taking it down was the right play of that turn. Yeah, this is cute. That's not what we needed. There were quite a few removal spells. We needed one. Oh god, now we're just dead. We have no out. We'll draw like running removal now. That may not be good enough. Brought a couple of shocks back in, even. Need a lot of help. Shock? A shock, I guess, isn't even that good, is it?
interesting. It's gonna bounce with the fairy. I really put the clock on. Need a shock and a land. GG. On to the next game. One and two. That's seven removal spells. Maybe that's just not enough. More rounds, though. Lost to Dastro. Can't keep. Can't keep. Yes, I'll get rid of the blink of the eye. Oh no, no. I want to get rid of the blink of the eye. Thank you. Mirror question mark. Nope. Grixis stuff. Fair hands not operational versus Grixis stuff, so yes, this is gonna be a quick loss. And a Wifferini. That card's bad. At least they only get one card. They don't have the big dog. Hey, we got a shock back. We have nothing to really cast with our promise. 
be a shock, but I can't imagine ever doing that. As I assume the Drake's dead. I was just trying to hit a Phoenix. Care about our lightning strike. I still definitely want to kill that, so. I say, well, if I want to save any cards whatsoever, I have to do this. You just try to get lucky. Eh, I like trying to get lucky. Basically, we need to hit a land. Or a phoenix. Or a shock. Found our first Phoenix, like 30 cards down or something. I guess I'll keep that, just for some kind of gas next turn. I 
They don't have an answer for the Phoenix either. Is it just like Krakenariums and stuff? That's weird. They didn't use the chemistries in response to any of that either. Like, I'm not sure what's in their deck. Sure. I guess. I guess at this point I just start trying to burn them out. Okay. Is e -tron better than I think it is? Because that's not even in my tier 1 decks. Or my tier 1.5 decks. They needed that much earlier. Yeah, Nick Bolas. So they tap out for Bolas, we're just gonna burn them, I guess. Interesting. Just have to be better than lava coils. Um, I don't think you do much. I don't hope he does terrible. I like Nassif. I hope Nassif does well. And I assume that if he is not playing blue-white, his testing came to that conclusion. So I'm definitely not going to insult him at all. My results and what I've saw haven't came to that conclusion, but like, 
He's playing with a considerably better team than me. And he is an extremely better player than me. So. Which teammate? Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what team he works with anymore. I think he was at one point working with the face to face people. Like Edgar and Marcus and them, but I'm not sure if he still is. If Marcus isn't on Hogod, I'm going to be sad. Never seems he never seems to do well with it that I see, but they shocked. What's that say? What was his individual record? Cause all I saw was Corey smashing people. I guess I'm just going to do it then. I guess I'll keep that. Awesome. They did that main phase, so it gives me a chance to get it back. We'll take that. We'll take that for a later turn. Closing in on two and two. There seemed to be almost no Hogot at Star City, which surprised me. I didn't watch every round, but I would flip by it occasionally and I saw zero copies ever. I had Facebook open, but apparently I don't. Oh. 
apparently Shark Week starts at Sunday at 9. Remember I used to get super excited for Shark Week when I was young? I mean, background music playing. Close that website, I guess. Alright, I'm greedy. We have double op. I'm keeping 100%. Be John Dino's. Oh, no. Getting nowhere and we're getting there fast, friends. Oh no, no, seven six. We can't reach that. Well, that's less impressive. Guess I have to kill that because whatever dino they play could just kill my dino or kill whatever I have if I don't. This is the pro blue one. We're going to be pretty sad. Guess I have to play this and hope that I can race. Even though I can't race really when they have a reach blocker, but. I'll have a second. Ooh. Guess who can't beat that? If you guessed us, you are right. So now we have to find a phoenix that can block. So we don't have no other option but this, do we? That's not too surprising. I'm actually surprised he's playing Gak and not uh, Dredge. I figured he would just play Dredge because that's his thing. So we can attack for 6, 7, 8, 9. Can't get near 18, can we? Yeah, I guess we just have to do the chart opt thing. Oh 
Oh no, I agree. I would not play Dredge. I just figured he would. It's kind of his thing. He has a Patreon now where you can find his deck list and his sideboard guides. Yeah, well, if they have nothing, we get another turn. Lane. I really want any of my sideboard here. Um. <laughs> I considered subbing to it. I just don't play enough magic anymore. I keep. Yeah, a lot of card draw. Hopefully, we'll find some lands. Imagine getting to promote your channel as a Smurf Rezone. That's everybody will come by. Seven six. Can we lose? We can technically beat a seven six, but we'd have to draw well. Yeah, Bridge and Leyline are both very good versus Hogat or Hogad or whatever it's called, the Risen Necropolis. I should probably sell mine because I'm not picking up Venge Vines or Blood Gas. Like I'm a hundred percent not buying those, so I should probably move my Hogats if they're worth enough to move. I've not looked at prices. Okay, that one's not too bad. Yeah, need a spell of some kind. That's not a spell. That's a spell, but now that spell doesn't matter. Guess we're trying to defend. Okay.
Does that should block this one. That's nice, man. Not sure what we could draw to get back into this. It doesn't feel like it can be that. I guess we can hit. A lava coil and still be in this game. All right, we probably need to hit another Phoenix now. Just a bit late, Lava Coil. Well, if they somehow do not have a Dino in their top three cards, we get another turn. Got to Lucky 3-0 after the Rare Draft. Those are the best. So, no dino in three cards, no removal spell in three cards. Seems super unlikely. Let's do this. I guess they're going to have the 2 3 dino. We can be that. Oh, cool. We got Slow Road. Oh, well, that's fun. Ah, well, anyway, like I said when we started, I thought we were going to be donating some tickets, and we did. Still don't think this deck's well positioned. But wanted to play it because it's fun. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. I have spaghetti waiting on me that I must get to. Thank you all so much for coming by. Thanks for keeping me company, Murph. And, uh, guess I'll talk to you tomorrow sometime after the Pro Tour, probably. See y'all.